six years ago, a movie came along and impacted the world of personal development like no other in history. Except maybe that Gus donkey movie, whatever that was. Anyway, the film was The Secret, and it talked about something called the law of attrition. Um, yes? Yeah, I'm sorry. It's attraction. The law of attraction. Okay. The movie was about the law of attraction and taught us that we can have anything we want just by closing our eyes. Well, well yes? I'm just, there's a little more to it than that. I saw people close their eyes in that movie, and then they got stuff. Well, you know, I don't really remember the eye-closing part, but there's definitely more to what we're saying than that. One of the stars of that movie is Bob Doyle, and he's our guest today. Hi, Bob. Hi. I'm sorry about the interruptions before. Don't worry about it. It's just that a lot of people have... Well... No, no. Go ahead. Well, I was just saying that after the movie came out, there were a lot of people kind of oversimplifying what we were saying, and so when people tried to actually use the law of attraction, it didn't really seem to work for them. Uh-huh. Anyway, sorry, I'll just let you ask your questions. Well, thanks. So, there was a genie in the movie, so are there real genies? I mean, could I see one now? Well, that was actually just a metaphor. Uh, I thought those were those big guys with the horns, the goat-looking guys. What? No, no, I think that, that's a minotaur, a minotaur. Right. Those are cool. I actually said metaphor. I, I just meant that the genie in the movie represented the universe in that if we know how to ask for things, you know, energetically, that the universe would deliver it, kind of like a genie in a lamp. Oh. Well, that's kind of disappointing. Well, I, you know... What? I, I was just going to say you don't really have to be disappointed. Because if you just get a full understanding of how this all works, you, you really can have what you want. Even a minotaur? Okay, um, never mind that one. So so why did they call it the secret? Well, the idea was... You, you say well a lot. I'm sorry? Almost every time you answer a question, you say well first. Do I? Yeah, almost every time. I didn't realize that. It's okay, I just thought you, you, know, you might want to know, because maybe you could say something else sometimes. Anyway, so, so they call it the secret, but, but it's like all over the place. <laughs> yeah. I mean, everybody and their brother seems to know about it. No, actually, you'd be surprised. Y you mean you don't have people coming up to you and asking for your autograph all the time? Uh, never, actually, unless I've been hired to speak somewhere or something. You know, you, you don't really look like you did in the movie. I've heard that. You look way older now. Do you sleep enough, do you think? Uh, I could probably sleep more. Because, you know, that's really important. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. So can I attract a million dollars? Well, technically, you can attract... See, it. there, you did it again. What? You said, well, again. <laughs> technically, we live in a universe of infinite possibility. Ooh. So virtually anything is possible, but it's about us getting into what we call vibrational resonance with something before you can attract it. <laughs> you are blowing my mind, man. Vibrational resonance? Uh, resonance. It's a term that relates to the nature and behavior of energy. Wow. So, if you want to attract a million dollars or anything else, you have to get into vibrational resonance with it. And how would I do something like that? Well, essentially, you need to get into the... Oh, oh! Vision boards, right? W vision boards are a tool that can be used to get you into vibrational resonance with something, yes? Yes! The thing is, there, there is more to it than that. You know, I made one of those. A vision board? Yeah, yeah. I cut out a bunch of pictures and made like a poster thing. And? Well, my cat peed on it the same day and I threw it away. Ah. See, uh, what a lot of people don't fully understand is that it's not just what we're saying that we want or putting on a vision board that the universe is responding to. It's also all of our really deep beliefs. You know what I used to believe? No. I used to believe that if you rubbed a cat backwards, it would turn into a dog. Okay, so anyway, if you're trying to attract a million dollars, for example, but you have some kind of belief running that it's not possible or that it's hard or that rich people are evil, then that creates something called resistance, which is essentially energy that is not in vibrational resonance with what you want. 
So, so the resistance actually works like a force field against what you're trying to attract. Do you know Marcy Sh uh, Smirnoff? Well, it, it, it's Shymoff, actually. And yeah, I know her. Who's, who's Marcy Shymoff? From The Secret. Isn't that who you were asking about? No, I ask about Marcy Smirnoff. Her dad makes vodka or something. No, I, I don't know her. Do you know any famous people? I know a few people. Who? You know, I just realized I never answered your question about why they call it the secret. Well, really, I'd rather know about the million dollars. You just said, well. All right, sorry, sorry. Look, whether it's a million dollars or a shoelace, it doesn't really matter. In essence, it's all about getting into vibrational resonance with what you want. Why would anyone want a shoelace? I don't know. Maybe there's broke. So you teach all this stuff, right? Yes, yes. I've been teaching the Law of Attraction since about 2002 in our Wealth Beyond Reason program. And you have a program called Wealth for No Reason? Wealth Beyond Reason. The program is Wealth Beyond Reason, and yes, it's an online program. That means it's uh, on, on the Internet, right? Right. Okay, okay, cool. And what we do with that program is teach the Law of Attraction, assuming that new students know nothing at all about it, or even have some serious skepticism based on previous attempts to get results with this stuff. It's all based in science, and it's broken up into a series of modules that build on each other. Wow. What? <laughs> you sound like a commercial. No, no, it, it sounds really cool. Thanks. Sciency. Yeah. Okay, we're going to take a quick break and then be back with Bob Dole. Doyle. <laughs> I'll bet you get that a lot, don't you? Sometimes, yeah, yeah. Well, we'll be back with Bob Doyle to talk a little more about the rules of attrition uh, and the Wealth for No Reason program. Wealth Beyond. <laughs>